Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, RSLE Chan DIY. Well, you do it, you dumb so, cause what pay more when you go mega for less? I feel like I'm a little offbeat because I've been gone for like two weeks. If you guys um, have been following me, you know that Milani's baptism just happened and I had so much going on that I kind of had to put this off for a little bit, but now I'm back. And if this is your first time here, welcome and thank you so much for joining me. I would love to invite you to become part of this YouTube DIY family and subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make this gorgeous, amazing DIY. Little bit of Dollar Tree, little bit of Joann's, little bit of stuff I already had at home. I love sharing things with you guys that you can make on the cheap so that you can save your pennies and buy stuff that you shouldn't DIY. For example, Bright Tech Shop was kind enough to send me this beautiful lamp that I want to share with you guys, this trilage. Um, it's sitting in my dining room looking all gorgeous and pretty and I love it. I don't know if that's going to be its permanent home, but for right now, it looks amazing right there. I do want to let you guys know that Bright Tech Shop will be sharing a discount code, see, giving you a budget DIY so you guys can head on over there and pick a lamp of your choosing. They have desk lamps, floor lamps, string lights. They have all sorts of lighting for your needs. So um, again, make sure you check out the link below and then also use that discount code that they are going to be giving you. I would totally recommend this lamp that they sent me because again, it is gorgeous. I love it. I will show you guys a little bit more on that lamp later on in the video. But for right now, I'm going to tell you guys what you're going to need for this DIY. So in my stockpile of stockpiles, I have my handy dandy foam board. If you do not have foam board in your stockpile, are we even friends? And today I had to prep everything before, so I'm not going to do step by step everything that I did. You guys will get the gist of it. So I measured out every five inches and cut out the planks. The width, okay? Not like the tall way, but this way. In total, you're gonna need eight of these pieces. And for your base, you may wanna double up on the foam board. I will also be using two of these Dollar Tree fences. I know three of these um, tin vase looking things from Dollar Tree that have the rope. They're kind of taller, random twine. And then also some flowers. You guys can use Dollar Tree. I just have stems from Joanne, something I found in my um, hoard of stuff. <laughs> was this um, curtain rod. This is just black. I went ahead and spray painted it with some brilliant silver. I didn't like saturate it with paint. I just kind of went over it because I wanted some of the black to kind of come through. For the foam board, as you can see, I just mixed some white and black acrylic paint. I will link a video up here of one of the methods I used to paint the foam board. So um, you won't be seeing it in this video, but I'm sure you guys can kind of get the gist of it. If not, make sure you watch this video. I'm going to put the first plank right over that crease and then start gluing them like that. I am going to be using some sawtooth hangers, again, stuff that I have in my stockpile. Look ahead, the sea is calm, and I know we've been through a lot, but just wait. Mm, wait for better days to come and carry us like wind. I'm going to be using the entire piece on one and then three of these sections from the other one. And I just had a comment from someone saying that they had a really difficult time taking these little side pieces and the picks off of here. I'm not sure why. Um, she said she used all kinds of tools for it. And I am basically just using some wire cutters and these are more heavy duty. They're not like the Dollar Tree ones, but honestly, these should come right off. All I'm doing is cutting right there, and if I just bend it, see, it comes right off. So I'm not really sure if you're having issues with it. I'm, I'm not. I don't know what you're doing, but this should come out. This should come off like a piece of cake. And then on this end right here, see, I'm just clipping it, and then I turn it around, 
and clip that piece and it literally pops right off so I, I don't know maybe your tools need to be sharper okay next step here is to take the trellis piece and glue it right at the bottom Something else I am using are these little pieces of the pool noodles and instead of using floral foam, I'm going to go ahead and stick that just right in there. I'm not going to glue it, I'm just going to stuff it in there um, just to give it a little bit of height and then I can just easily stick my flower bundles right in there. And it's really cost effective if you just buy one pool noodle at Dollar Tree, it's going to give you like a whole bunch of pieces. So this is what I'm going to use. So this is going to be hanging from here, here, and that's what's going to be hanging on the curtain rod. Alright you guys, so that is going to be it for today. I'm going to go ahead and go hang the little vases onto the curtain rod and I will show you guys the end result. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave me a thumbs up, leave me any comments down below, and don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to go check Bright Tech Shop down below. Make sure you use your coupon code and Again, I will totally recommend this Trilage lamp. Um, of course, it's the one that's in my house. I haven't tried the other ones, but this one looks beautiful. Either way, I'm sure you guys will find one that will fit your style. That's it, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye. like a marble design it's really heavy duty and then um, I got the bronze color so here's a little knob and it turns on and off so there's three lampshades so it goes out like this each one comes down a different height this is the tallest one and with the knob you can have either all three of them on just the two or just one so this lamp is probably one of my favorite home decor pieces that I currently own and it goes really nicely with all of my decor that I have, my mirrors, my table, my I don't really have glam stuff and I feel like this lamp just fits everything perfectly and it makes it feel super homey especially when all the lights are off and I just have this kind of lit in the corner it looks really beautiful it has five star reviews it's 137 but you get your 15% off by using the code so make sure you head on down and use that link